Deftones, Acid Hologram, Standard Tuning Method, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play all the parts right at the beginning here. Afterwards, I'll go back through, give the full explanation for everything. Before we jump in, please hit that subscribe button. It's the best way of letting me know you like this video and want me to do more Deftones stuff. And now, let's go for it. Okay, so once again, this is a standard tuning method for this song. Uh, we might not be able to get all the, you know, super low voicing feel, but uh, I feel if we compensate in a couple ways here and there, uh, it works just fine and a little more accessible for everybody in just the EAD, GBE standard here. Um, for the start, we go intro, verse, section, and it's just really two chords. And uh, the first one, just kind of a big uh, B-flat power chord, so just the 6 at the E with the 8 on the A and D. And it's just kind of a 1, 2, 3. All right, and then we just shift over. And now we want uh, a D power chord, but we're going to add the extra A bass note with it just to make it a little bigger. Uh, and we really want to focus on, like, with these chords, what's happening on the D string, because that's kind of this accent note that really pops in this. All right, and it's just one, two, three, one, two, three, back and forth with those two chords. And like I said, just try to emphasize the, the middle D string as much as possible there. All right, the second riff, it uh, just comes right off of that verse and drops down to an F power chord. And we just strum this like uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, just write the first fret three on the A and D there. Come up and we do these octaves now, all the way up to the F octave here at the A, A 10 on the G. And it's just one, two, three. All right, drop it down a fret to the E octave at the seven and nine on the A and G. This, about four strums. All right, come back down to the F power chord, strum that four times, and then lift off and hit a quick open low E. And then just loop it uh, through once again there, and uh, we'll be all set. Third riff here. Uh, just a series of power chords. Uh, initially, we're going to slide down with this E flat power chord, the 6A with the 8s on the D and G. Go ahead and add the extra uh, 6 on the E with it for that extra low B flat uh, octave just to get the chord sounding bigger. This is kind of where the compensating uh, for the lower tone comes into place. So, so we get that instead of just we can get a little more bassy with it. And uh, we're going to keep that same power chord shape and take the uh, sixes and eights there from that E flat, slide it down. So now we have the D power chord with the A at the fives and sevens. Okay, slide it to there, hit it once more. We'll come back up, do a one, two, three, four on the sixes and eights with the E flat. And then just slide that down to the C power chord with the G bass note at the threes on the E and A, fives on the D and G. 
and that's just kind of a one, two. So slowly. All right, this interlude section, uh, pretty funky actually here. Um, we make use of a, uh, a you know, tremolo whammy bar, whichever you got there. Um, nothing too crazy, but it's just this uh, quick back and forth with like a palm muted low, you know, A to a B power chord. So uh, we can do that pretty simply here. Just like I said, palm mute it, and we just hit the open A, hammer it on to the two, and then hit the, the four on the D with it. And if you're really slick with it, you can also like add in like that two on the low E just to make it bigger, you know? Try to compensate for the, the lack of down tuning. Sounds good, I think. All right, and after we do that open to two, open to two, you know, A to B power chord thing twice, we'll come down and we'll hit twos on the G and the B. All right, and when we do that, we want to give the tremolo like a quick little like back and forth. All right. And after that, we do kind of a, a similar open A to the two for the B. But once we do that, we hit the B a couple more times, then do another open to two hammer on. Just a little kind of hiccup in the strumming there. Okay, that's kind of what's happening there. Mute it too, sounds good. All right, and after that time, instead of twos on the B and G, we do threes on the B and G, and the same type of deal with the, the tremolo arm. All right, uh, we do the initial open to two, open to two again. All right, and now we do this bit of a walk up where we, we do the twos on the B and G, then the threes. You know, each time kind of giving the bar a wiggle. All right, hold that a moment, and then come on up to sixes on the B and G, and finish that way. 